Major sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press Media Editors, New York Parrot Online Newspaper, U.S. Press Corps Domestic and International, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yihad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Able Then On Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television, Arts, and Sciences, Boston, New England chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists. Welcome to this edition of Able to Learn Air, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the different label. I'm your host, Lauren Seiler. I'm Lauren Seiler. And on this um, special sports edition of Able to Learn Air, uh, we, we're going to talk about the Paralympics, um, the Paralympic Games um, today. Um, but before we do that, we would like to say um, special thanks to Washington County Mental Health, our sponsor, Green Mountain Support Services, and many, many, many others, including the support, um, the, uh, support from um, the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, uh, New York Power Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, uh, Muslim Media Corporation, and many, many, many others, including Yihad of New York and New England, where, uh, where everyone belongs, and um, many others. Um, again, um, um, let's talk about um, um, the Paralympic Games. Um, you know, the Games happen every four or five years, um, but the Paralympics uh, were uh, a little bit different than the Special Olympics. The Special Olympics was started by Eunice Kennedy Shriver in the 1960s. Um, these games were on, uh, started on July 29th, 1948, the day of the opening ceremonies of the London 1948 Olympic Games, Paralympic uh, Games, started by Dr. Uh, started by Dr. Gutman, who organized the first uh, competition for wheelchair athletes, uh, which he named after the Stoke Man, uh, Manville Games, and, uh, M A N D E V I L L E Games, a milestone in Paralympic history. Anything you want to say before we continue? Say how many, um, how many the participants have to participate in the Paralympics? Well, um, I'll, I'll continue with that. Uh, according to the Stoke Manville Games, later became the Paralympic Games, which took, took place in Rome, Italy in 1960, featuring at the time 400 athletes from 23 countries. Since then, they have taken place every four years. In 1976, the first Olympic Games in Paralympic history was held in Sweden, um, as well as the Summer Games have taken place 
every four years and included a Paralympics opening ceremony and a Paralympics closing ceremony. Since then, the, so, the Summer Games of Seoul, Korea in 1988 and the Winter Games in Albertville, France in 1992. Um, the Games have taken part in some, some cities and venues at the Olympics due to agreement between the, Interla the International Paraly uh, Paralympic Committee and the International... Um, the the, o, the the IOC. Now, um, according to this, and I'm gonna, the website, if you would like to find out more information about the Paralympics, you can go to www.paralympic.org um, slash Paralympic uh, Games. Now, um, Paralympic is spelled P-A-R-A-A-L-Y-M-P-I-C um, dot org. So, uh, let's go down here. Um, so, in 2028, it's going to be held in Los Angeles, California. Um, in 2026, it's going to be held in Milano, uh, Cortina, uh, uh, which, is at, at, uh, which is in Italy, I think. Um, 2024 is going to be held in Paris. Uh, Beijing is 2022. Tokyo was in 2020. Uh, um, Pyongyang was in 2018. Rio was 2016. And going down the list, yeah. So um, and they have they have more here of when. Uh, yeah, London was in 2012. Vancouver was 2010. Um, so on and so forth. So. When you go to the website, um, and, and including in '96 was in Atlanta, in Atlanta, Georgia. So um, those are the um, game, and they definitely have more here. Yeah, um, but and then this website, uh, the International Paralympic Committee. Um, as you go across the top, and let me. Uh, turn it on, if I can turn it around here. Uh, we can probably get a screenshot later of this. Um, a, as you turn, as you uh, go across the top of this uh, website, you can uh, learn more about um, the different sports. So let, let me uh, click there. So there, they have uh, para, Paralympic uh, Alpine skiing. Archery, athlete, different athletics, including badminton, um, bocce ball, canoe, cycling, um, dance, um, uh, horse racing, or, or um, equestrian uh, uh, things with sport. Hold on. Let me go down here. Uh, oops. Wait. Which, which countries have participated in this sport? Um, uh, uh, Rome, uh, Beijing, China, Japan, um, Greece, di different ones. Did Israel participate? That's a good question. I could find that out. Um, but, b but let me finish the sport. So we had canoe, cycling, dance, um, horse, uh, Horse events, uh, football, um, goalball, judo, uh, skiing, ice hockey, powerlifting, uh, rowing, um, volleyball, snowboarding, etc. Um, wheelchair basketball, fencing, uh, triathlon. Um, triathlon is interesting because um, they, they basically... Um, like javelin throws and, and different things, and then also um, running and you know uh, okay. cycling is um, mm -hmm. now um, let's go here um, the ones to watch this year um, well from twenty twenty on so. Um, 
you know, they, they have, uh, they have um, swimming especially, right? Now, the ones to watch from the United States is um, Alicia Seeley, um, and then you also have uh, from Japan, um, I can't pronounce these names, but if you want to find out more about the players, you can go to Paralympic.org, okay? And, um, you know. Check, check a video has, uh, has uh, Okay, I, I can I can double check that. Let me see. That's interesting. Has let me see. Has Israel participated? Oops. In Power Olympics. That's good to find out. Um, Israel is the only nation to have hosted the Paralympic Games, but not the, oh, yes. Um, Israel is the only nation to have hosted the Paralympic Games, but not the Olympic Games. At the 2004 Summer Paralympics in Athens, Israeli, the Israeli, Israelis won a total of 13 medals, of which four were gold. So, according to Wikipedia, let's click here. Okay, Israel competed um, in the Paralympic Games in 1960. Um, actually, let me go up. Yeah, in, uh, in the Summer Games in Rome, Italy. In the total, Israel has one of... Um, 123 gold medals at the Summer Paralympic Games. The most successful Israeli Paralympian was Zipporah Rubin Rosenbaum, uh, who between 1964 and 1988 won 30 medals at the Paralympic Games, which 15 were gold. Um, second successful Israeli Paralympian was Yuri Bergman, U uh, R I Bergman. Uh, between 1976 and 1988, won uh, 14 medals at the Paralympic Games, and 12 were gold. In Tel Aviv, Tel Aviv was the host city of the 1968 Summer Paralympic Games, which Israel finished third on the medal chart with um, 62 medals and 18 were gold. Um, Israel was the only nation to have hosted the Paralympic, but not the regular Olympic Games. In 2004, um, the Summer Olympic, the Summer Paralympic Games in Athens, Israel won a total of 13 medals. Four were gold. Four were gold. Um, a person by the name of Itzhak, um, how do you pronounce his name? Itzhak uh, Mar uh, Marazatov. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Marazatov won three medals and two were gold. And then there was uh, Karen Leibowitz won four medals, of which one was gold in swimming. Um, now, according to the uh, chart here, and it's, it's pretty extensive. There we go. Um, pretty extensive. Um... Israel, let me go down here. Oh, here we go. Okay. 1968, 18 were gold, 21 were silver, uh, 23 were bronze, 62 total, and they ranked third. Um, United States and Britain in 1984, uh, 11 were gold. This is Paralympics. Uh, 21 were silver. Uh, 12 were bronze, a uh, total of 44, and ranked 19 between um, Britain and United States. And the list goes on. There's, um, in 2012, though, uh, one gold, two silver, five bronze for a total of eight, uh, and they ranked 45 at the time. Mm -hmm. Um... Now, according to 
according to Special Olympics. Now, let me tell you about Paralympics. Paralympics, if you're missing an arm, a leg, and, or anything, you can uh, participate. Um, but according to Special Olympics, I'm bringing up the Special Olympics because their, their, their motto is, uh, let me win, but if I cannot win, let me be brave in the attempt. Personally, I think everybody in in Power Olympics or any Olympics should get a um, a, 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 med, a medal no matter what. You know that that, but but you know. Has the, has the, uh, I wonder if the Special Olympics is still going on. Um, well, since we are on the topic, I haven't heard anything about that. Special that. Olympics. About that, okay, well, I can I can bring that up. Uh, Special Olympics Vermont. Since we are on the topic. Yes, sir. All right, Special Olympics Vermont due to COVID. Um, let's go here. Okay, well, Special Olympics Vermont, um, if you want more information on their programs, you can go to www.specialolympicsvermont.org. Um, but, um, their upcoming events, according here, um, September, Monday, September 13th, Special Olympics has um, at home movement challenge um, fall 21 um, 2021 September 18th um, they will be um, which is on a Saturday they will be in three locations so we can go to that um, and not to confuse people here um, well it's on Shabbos nobody yeah well okay well um, if anybody um, does go September 18th and 19th in September. Special Olympics Vermont is excited to be hosting the 2021 Regional Fall Games. Um, they can't wait to see you. Um, th they will be in three fall sports, track and, track and field, bocce, and golf. Um, the, the following dates, the um, Special Olympics of Vermont will be participating in. September 18th, Saturday, golf events. Um, um, uh, September 18th on Saturday also will be the fall games, track and field, and bocce. So, um, Sunday, September 19th uh, will be track and field and bocce events. At, um, uh, now, um, Special Olympics Vermont is determining which delegations will be competing in which areas. Um, for more information on, on all of this and all these events, you can go um, to www.specialolympicvermont.org forward slash event page fall games. That website, once again, is www.specialolympicvermont.org um, forward slash event fall games. Um, you know, you know, let me just, uh, say this. Participating in any Olympic sport and, um, games is, is real important, um, for social interaction for people with disabilities, uh, you know, to get everybody out of the house, you know, because during COVID, it's extremely, it was extremely hard and it's still getting extremely hard for people just to be in the house um, because it becomes problematic with someone's mental health. So it's extremely important to get out and really participate. Those websites, again, the, um, that we talked about today is the Power Olympics. Uh, which will which we can show we will show a video. By the way, um, since we said that, let's take a look at a uh, video of the Paralympics. Let's take a look at this. Three, two, one. Well, um, with that said, we would like to thank um, 
Green Mountain Support Services, Washington County Health, uh, Washington County Mental Health, and many, many, many others, including the um, partnership with the Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the uh, Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Muslim Media Corporation, and many others, including Yachad, New York, and New England. Um, um, get out there, uh, get the Olympic gold, and en enjoy the rest of the summer. I'm Lauren Seiler. I'm on Sponsors for Ableton On Air include Green Mountain Support Services, empowering people with disabilities to live home in the community, Washington County Mental Health, where hope and support come together. Media sponsors for Ableton On Air include Parkchester Times, Muslim Community Report, www.thisisthebronx.info, Associated Press media editors, New York Pirate online newspaper, U.S. Press Corps, domestic and international, Anchor FM, and Spotify. Partners for Ableton On Air include Yahad of New York and New England, where everyone belongs, the Orthodox Union, the Division for the Blind and Visually Impaired of Vermont, the Vermont Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired, Central Vermont Habitat for Humanity, and Montpelier Sustainable Coalition, Montefiore Medical Center of the Bronx, Rose F. Kennedy Center of Bronx, New York, Albert Einstein College of Medicine of the Bronx. Abel Air has been seen in the following publications, Parchester Times, www.thisisthebronx.com, New York Pirate Online Newspaper, Muslim Community Report, www.h.com, and the Montpelier Bridge. Ableton On Air is part of the following organizations. The National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences, Boston, New England Chapter, and the Society of Professional Journalists.